Hey there people, how are you doing? So, we have the OnePlus 8 Pro in the studio and OnePlus say that they have made a flagship and they have priced it like one too because $900, well it's not very expensive in terms of flagship but it is expensive, definitely. It's like borderline flagship if you ask me. And hence, we are here today to decide which flagship between the S20 and OnePlus takes a crown for better cameras. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get to the first image. Here, you can see that the OnePlus is kind of crushing the shadows while the S20 is exposing them really well. This is an ultra wide shot and the S20 also has a wider field of view. Now, I would say the OnePlus has like a smidge more detail because of the higher resolution 48 megapixel sensor. But other than that, I think that dynamic range, colors, everything else is better on the S20. Moving on to the next image, which is the main lens shot. And here, the OnePlus looks very natural, but the S20, in my opinion, is increasing the vibrance way too much. The greens, they kind of look unnatural, and the sky color, if you look at it, it's pretty bad, to be honest. So I actually prefer the OnePlus here. Now, this one here looks insanely similar on both, but as you can see, the greens are once again very vibrant and it kind of looks artificial while the greens on the oneplus look very natural and like actual plants so i prefer that one but if you like that extra vibrance then the s20 is the one to go for for this ultra wide shot i kind of prefer the s20 because the low contrast is keeping the highlights in the sky in check while the shadows also look better not to mention that wider field of view but honestly, it's kind of personal preference on the contrast, but the wider field of view really takes a win for the S20. The standard focal length shot, kind of the same story, but the extra contrast here is actually making the logo stand out a little more than the S20. So that's like the only thing in favor of the OnePlus 8 here. Now for this 3 times zoom shot, both of them use different mechanisms. The S20 uses a high res 64 megapixel sensor to crop in, while the OnePlus uses an 8 megapixel sensor with 3 times optical zoom. And I don't know what to say because both of them are so similar. It's an absolute tie between the two. Moving on to 5X and here I feel like the highlights are a little bit better controlled on the OnePlus along with a tad bit more detail. So for those two reasons, I prefer the OnePlus here. Another ultra wide shot and once again, the S20 has better sky along with a much wider field of view. Now this was a really tricky shot. The background was pretty bright while the foreground didn't really have a lot of light. The S20 is absolutely awesome here. Just look at those shadows. They are completely crushed on the OnePlus while the S20 manages to expose them really well. Upon 3x zoom, once again, extremely similar on both. Both of them have this silhouette type look and honestly, it's not bad on either. Although the S20 does appear a little bit underexposed. Moving on to 10x zoom and here the S20 looks a little bit underexposed, which is why I prefer the OnePlus. Then for 30x zoom, well, the only advice I have for you is don't use it. It's utterly horrible. Then for this one, I feel as though it's underexposing once again a little on the S20 because you can see the shadows are completely crushed. And although the OnePlus is clipping the highlights a little in the background, I actually prefer the OnePlus because it's exposing the subject really well. And upon zooming in, you can see that the whole thing just turned upside down. The OnePlus now looks like the previous S20 and vice versa for the S20 on this one. But I once again prefer the OnePlus because it's balancing the shot a little bit better than the S20 does. For this one, once again, the S20's greens are just all over the place. It's really smudging them up right now and the contrast is not really visible between them. So I prefer the OnePlus even though the shadows might be a little too crushed for my liking. Now these are the high res shots on both and you can see that the OnePlus is doing a much better job in terms of highlight retention and shadow detail. The S20 not only does the dynamic range suffer with the 64 megapixel mode, the greens continue to be insanely vibrant which just makes them look kind of fake. For this good old latte art, I prefer the OnePlus because it's not blowing out the heart but otherwise it looks pretty similar to me. But we do have a food mode on the S20. So I just thought why not try it here. And as you can see, it's pretty bad once again. The heart is completely blown out. And although yeah, the contrast and saturation levels have been upped a little to make it look a little bit more punchy, but definitely the H Pro is quite a bit better here. And matter of fact, you can also change the color temperature, but well, that's not helping the heart with its completely blown out look. As for this picture of good old Valentine, Man, it's insanely similar once again. 
and maybe there's like a tad bit more depth of field on the OnePlus, but yeah, I'd consider this a complete tie. Alright, now let's try out some portraits, and here I definitely prefer the S20. It's balancing out the contrast a little bit better than the OnePlus does. Otherwise, the cutout and everything, it looks pretty similar. On the next one as well, I look a lot brighter on the S20 than on the OnePlus. So definitely, I'd say the portraits look quite a bit brighter on the S20, which is why I prefer it. As for selfies, here the story is a little different because the S20 is really warming up the image and making me look kinda yellow, while the OnePlus is rendering out the skin tones very well. It looks a lot more natural on the OnePlus. But the S20, on the other hand, can get quite a bit wider if you want it. So there are pros and cons to both of them. But here's where the S20 strikes back real bad. It has a night mode on the selfie camera. And it's pretty fantastic to be honest because you can see on the OnePlus, when in dark, it really smudges up the image completely while on the S20, the overall contrast and detail levels are much, much better maintained. As for portrait mode on the front camera, it looks very similar. But once again, I prefer the colors on the OnePlus because it doesn't look as warm. As for this one, here, I think that the OnePlus is a little bit better because you can see in the background, it looks a little too red in the S20 while the OnePlus is maintaining the colors much better. Not only that, in my opinion, I think the petals also look a little less faded on the OnePlus. As for this, Goldie Boy, I think that the blues definitely look a lot better on the OnePlus. You can see that the S20 is kind of darkening it a lot more than it really should, while the OnePlus is maintaining it really well. As for textures and everything else, it looks very similar. I do like the extra vibrance that we get and it looks, you know, more like gold on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Next up is my painting, The Lake of Tears. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. It'll be in the cards. And here, I think that the OnePlus 8 Pro kind of screwed up because it's unable to maintain the contrast, highlights, or the colors. Everything is looking really bad while the S20 manages to do it perfectly. As for this one, this is kind of a backlit shot and I have to admit the S20 manages to expose the camera amazingly well. I did try a tap to expose on the OnePlus and well, you can see the result for yourself. It's completely faded out. Next up is the night mode. The lighting isn't too bad. It took like 2 to 3 seconds on the S20 and like 1 or 2 seconds on the OnePlus. But you can see, although the subject looks very similar on both, maybe a little bit brighter on the OnePlus, the wall Man, it's a disaster on the S20. I don't know what happened. I think the S20 has something against my wall. It's always darkening it. You'll even see the same in the upcoming photos. But the OnePlus is able to maintain the colors really well. Now this, I really wanted to showcase. Just look at how close we can get with OnePlus's macro mode. It's pretty amazing. And you can see that the quality is just beyond impressive. That's because it uses a high quality 48 megapixel ultra wide and man, I have to tell you, this is to date the best macro camera that I've seen. The S20, on the other hand, doesn't even come close, literally. Same story here, you can see how close we can get. The OnePlus macro camera is really something else. Or should I say ultra wide camera because it doesn't have a dedicated macro camera. You know, all phones should have something like this in place of using a really low quality 2 megapixel macro camera. Now, this is kind of a backlit shot. It's not too harsh, but. Honestly, the OnePlus maintains the contrast levels amazingly well. It exposes the background and the foreground in a really good way. It's not too faded, neither is it crushing the shadows and blowing out the highlights. The S20 on the other hand is overdoing the contrast a little bit too much in my opinion. Next up is a night mode and I have to admit both of them look amazing. The textures and colors and everything honestly. The S20 is looking a tad bit warmer than it should but it's also got a little bit extra shadow detail, so it goes a little back and forth. Another night mode, and I'll let you in on a little trick. The S20 took a 30 second long exposure. Handheld. How you can do it, you ask? Well, if you can place your hand firmly on the table and keep it very stable, then it's possible to trick the camera into thinking that your hand is a tripod. It's hard to do, I'll be honest. Really hard, but it's possible. And even though it took a 30 second long exposure, I just cannot understand why that wall in the background looks so artifacted. I think it'll remain a mystery for all time to come, why the S20 has a vendetta against that wall. OnePlus, on the other hand, not only does it have better colors, but I'd say that 
it renders the wall every single time in a perfect manner. Although, if you look at the details, then the S20 does come forward by a little bit. But you gotta keep in mind, the OnePlus took like 2 or 3 seconds, while the S20 took 30 seconds. So, at least something has to be good on the S20, right? Now, this is a normal handle shot where it took like 3 or 4 seconds on the S20. And you can see the wall is an utter and absolute mess. Not to mention that unforeseen shadow on the right which I don't know where it came from. As well as ultra wide night mode, although the S20 has a wider field of view, I do think that the OnePlus looks quite a bit better because not only does it actually focus on the subject, I did try it a few times, the S20 missed every single time, but you can see the wall once again. Man, the S20 has something against this wall, I'm telling you. But anyways, I definitely prefer the OnePlus. Although, I do think that the color temperature is quite a bit off on the OnePlus. Here, I tried out that tripod hand thing that I explained a little while back on the OnePlus. And although it didn't get that text on the lower right corner perfectly, but I'll admit, it looks just fantastic. The S20, on the other hand, is just unable to expose the lens that well. Wow, that was a lot of photos. But honestly, I didn't think this much similarity would actually occur between the OnePlus and Samsung. But honestly, overall, I do think that it's an utter and absolute tie. I just, in my right mind, I cannot pick one over the other because there are like very few situations where the S20 may be edged over a little while in other places the OnePlus edged over. And honestly, I think that the phone you pick is going to be up to you. Whether you prefer the extra vibrance that you get out of the S20 or the much more natural look that you get out of the OnePlus. In my opinion, I think I would go for the S20 because I like vibrance. But honestly, I'd be more than happy with the OnePlus's camera. It's amazingly capable. But the only place where the OnePlus kind of loses is in portraits and in the selfies. The portraits could be improved with just, you know, a tweak of exposure. That'll make the portraits look quite a bit like the S20, maybe even better, we never know. But the selfies are specifically lacking because OnePlus does not have a night mode. Now, I don't take a lot of selfies, but for those who do take them, I can tell you, you'll appreciate the night mode on the S20. But other than that, I think that the OnePlus's camera performed admirably well. It's pretty amazing to see the camera being improved so greatly over its predecessors. Other than the portraits and selfies, I definitely think that the OnePlus 8 Pro matches the S20 Plus. So, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this very long video. If you did, do hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be seeing you guys later. Cheers.